Now, something that is probably not going to be as huge as Billie Eilish, but uh, a director that's quite big right now, Jordan Peele, dropping his uh, television, his tele- well, not television debut, obviously, but newest television project, Twilight Zone, on CBS All Access. Dave, they dropped the first uh, episode on YouTube. Get give people a little taste. Get them to mm-hmm. give up that that hard earned money for that uh, CBS All Access pass. What did you think of episode one? I didn't get a chance to watch it, so I want to check in with you around it. Right, and I also didn't get a chance to watch episode two, which is on All Access right now. I think now it's mm-hmm. going to start airing on Thursdays, but they dropped the first two uh, this morning. Yeah, um, it's funny because like it's it's been described and described as a Peel man us. Bobby we're talking about us now. Twilight Zone's coming. And it's like, Twi- well, mm-hmm. he's producing Twilight Zone. And he's the host slash narrator, like uh, Rod Sterling. But he didn't direct yeah. it. He didn't write any of this. That's so not yeah. as much of a Peel project the way Get Out and Us are. But still, it's still exciting to see him involved. And I think what immediately stands out is that he's really good as the Rod Sterling role, as the host and narrator. And he's just kind of present in the world of the episode, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, I remember when this got announced, I want to say end of 2017, I want to say it's like Peel's producing Cloud Zone for CBS All Access and everyone's like, all right, well, good on CBS All Access. You got to get stuff people want to watch and people will definitely tune into this. A smart call. Then everyone realizes, wait, do we really need this? I mean, we're getting Black Mirror season, what is it? Season five, season six this year. We just had Bandersnatch. Um, I mean, Amazon put out Electric Dreams beginning of last year i mean right anthology series that are commenting on technology and the modern ship with said technology uh there's a lot of it right now most of it's pretty good do we need the original most famous anthology show to come back they've tried to bring it back a few times do we need this uh fair questions but i think it's actually uh definitely worth it you know um it's funny because this first note I thought ultimately, when it stars Kumail Nanjiani, who we love, uh, I thought ultimately it was a little too predictable to conceive. It's a little, uh, little obvious. You kind of grasp where the episode's going, and it's one of the longer episodes, so it maybe meanders a little bit. But it's still really well done. Both it looks cool. And I think it's still really sharply written, even if overall the concept's kind of easy to figure out. And this is about uh, Kumail plays a struggling comic, which is quite meta. Love it, and he meets Tracy Morgan, who is a famous comic, and he uh, teaches or passes on some wisdom for Kumail to uh, improve his career. I don't want to say any more, but once you understand where it's going, you can kind of see the finish line. Mm -hmm. But I still think it's like still smart enough, smartly done enough that it's like, all right, well, let me see what the next episode is. And the next one, again, I haven't seen it yet, but it has Adam Scott and we know from the show, there's a quite a cast of actors and actresses we love on this show mm-hmm. to come so i still want to keep watching it's not a show like the romanoffs where it's like ah oh, man bit of a snoozer <laughs> don't know about this show then you watch the whole yeah. show and you're like oh wow this is an anthology of snoozers <laughs> what a waste of time that's not yeah. what this is so that's that's exciting and good for cbs man because they really needed this because they got the star trek heads they need more you know yeah, you know, I, I mean, they, they did need something, and I, I just, I feel like like there is going to be fatigue eventually around these sorts of shows, you know, especially because they're all the same structure and the same idea. Um, I'm sure Twilight Twilight Zone will have its own twist, and I like that not all the episodes are an hour long that they're burying it up, but eh, I don't know, going to be interesting. Uh, any other thoughts before we move on? We'll, we'll be talking about it as the season goes on. Yeah, we'll we'll be talking about it. I think. Uh... Like Black Mirror, I think generally Black Mirror is a show that still uh, commands goodwill from the audience because even if there are episodes that naturally are not as good, not as interesting or compelling, generally you understand that the are the the creators, the writers, they like you trust them and trust their eye for quality, and like you have to kind of give anthology creators a bit of a pass at times because you have to create something totally new every single episode within this larger mm-hmm. conceit, right? So it's challenging art to make. I mean, heck, even with shows like Fargo, right? Like that show kept going despite maybe not needing to keep going. Yet Noah Hawley had to keep figuring out ways to make whole new seasons. 
anthology shows, you're literally doing that each episode. So I think it's it's uh, when episodes change, you know. So I think it's it's quite a it's quite the mon- you know monumental task, especially when you're trying to live up to the legacy of the Twilight Zone, one of the most famous and lauded shows, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but I think I think it's definitely definitely worthwhile. I'm looking forward to watching that second episode very soon. And like you said, we'll talk about the full season soon. So check it on CBS All Access. It's only six dollars a month with a week free. So I think you only need two months to watch the whole show. So it's not that bad. Not so that bad at all. 